So I just turned 43 last week and whenever I have a birthday, uh, one thing that cheers me up sometimes is looking back at old pictures of myself uh, in my 20s when I wasn't really looking so good. So it kind of reassures me that, well, uh, as a 43 year old, I, I probably look better than I did in my 20s. Now, in my 20s, I spent a lot of time on call in hospitals. I was studying all the time, struggling to become a plastic surgeon and, um, well, a general surgeon first and then a plastic surgeon, doing everything uh, that's involved with that. So there was a lot of problems with my lifestyle, lack of sleep, lack of exercise, not eating right, all the usual culprits. But in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, three things that I learned as a plastic surgeon that were absolute game changers for me and really you get a lot of bang for your buck and as somebody who has access to all the different lotions and potions and devices um, these are the three I stick with and I find really make uh, the most difference so number one I'm going to talk about is fillers fillers can be absolutely game changing I do my own fillers um, don't do that but um, it, it is important to go to a, a practitioner who knows what they're doing. So I strongly recommend either a plastic surgeon because they're going to really know the anatomy or a dermatologist who does a lot of this. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you can really distort features. But if you go to somebody who does know what they're doing, well, they can not only use fillers um, for anti-aging, but they can help harmonize your face, balance features, things like that. So for example, I have a lot of fillers uh, in my cheeks and in my lips as well um, which uh, can help you know if you choose to do so kind of um, balance those features um, along with this is Botox Botox I don't have any in right now so you can see uh, all my lines but it definitely works and I do firmly believe it is preventative as well I started using it when I was about 32 I was developing lines uh, right here friend lines and I attribute Botox with the fact that I don't have what we call static lines which means that when I relax my face uh, I don't really have those so finally i got a skincare regimen and really um i'm not very disciplined with this but uh the most effective bang for your buck ointment or cream i recommend is going to be tretinoin and so tretinoin is uh, i am up to 0 0.05 percent it is um, available only by prescription but um, it has a lot of science behind it when it comes to improving your complexion improving fine lines and it even has quite a bit of data about uh, preventing um, uh, skin cancer too so as an Irish person who lives in Miami uh, this of course is very appealing it does tend to make your skin really dry and flaky that's just kind of part of it you have to sort of power through that uh, and eventually your skin uh, becomes used to it uh, in most cases and then when it comes to other skincare treatments again i have access to all the different devices you can spend so much money on all the different treatments but i tend to come back to this one a tca peel and so the reason i like this it's very simple it's very um predictable and it's also uh very cost effective and typically i'll do it about twice a year you can do it more so if needed and it's just basically like you, you get to be like a snake and like shed your skin so you're able to get rid of a lot of blemishes a lot of sunspots uh and fine lines as well um i find it's uh super effective and not much downtime usually about three days uh, of downtime uh, approximately and really not uncomfortable or anything like that um, the TCA pill is what we call a medium pill so it has to be done in uh, your doctor's office um, but those are going to be my top three tips um, for uh, looking better as a plastic surgeon and uh, looking younger as well